All right, everybody. So the hype has died down a little bit. The excitement is wearing off. You know, we're, we're, we're getting into more of a zen state of mind here. Now, I was extremely excited last week to talk about Sonic Superstars, as you would be when a new classic Sonic game just comes out. It's something that I've wanted for years now, and I finally got that. And I am not even a little bit disappointed by Sonic Superstars. It is an awesome game, but now that we are finally in a more zen state of mind and much more uh, level-headed with our opinions, I think we can finally, you know, dissect Sonic Superstars just a little bit. Sonic Superstars is still an all-around fantastic game. I'm so pleased with this entire product. I'm so pleased with this project. It is a work of art. You know, 12 new stages to go through. They're all super solid. I mean, to be honest with you, I really, like, if I had to pick a, a favorite stage here, I really can't, can't choose one. Like, there's so many great ones. Like, I guess Lagoon City stands out to me as a really fantastic water level. Speed Jungle is awesome because it's a speed-based level and it really plays to that well. Pinball Carnival, I think, takes the uh, dreaded pinball concept that we've seen pop up in Sonic time and time again over the years and finally makes it work. It finally makes pinball actually work and coincide peacefully with, you know, Sonic the Hedgehog. I mean, good God, how many times have we seen pinball pop up in the Sonic game and have it just completely just blow ass? Like, for once in the Sonic franchise, for once, we can finally enjoy the concept of pinball. Because for whatever reason, the Sonic team is just obsessed with having pinball in Sonic games. And, you know, finally, we have it work in Pinball Carnival. This is a really solid stage right here, and it's just fun. It's just fun, dude. I just want to have fun. But in general, all Sonic stages are great. There isn't really... Well, I was about to say that there isn't really any one stage that's bad. However, that would be a lie. Because Press Factory... I... Press Factory is a major problem. So, the Press Factory has this gimmick to it where every five or so seconds you have this giant pressing machine in the background that, fo that forces itself to the ground, causing this major, just like earthquake to happen where every five seconds your character is you know being forced to fly up into the air when you don't want him to and this is just way too obnoxious and way too intrusive with the gameplay it's not enjoyable to have to deal with you know being launched up into the air every five seconds it's it's more an annoyance than anything it just makes the stage just obnoxious to get through and i just i guess i just don't see what they thought when they were making this gimmick happen. Like, it does it add an extra challenge to the stage? Yeah, but it but that challenge doesn't add to the gameplay. It doesn't enhance it, it detracts. And so that was a huge L, uh, Press Factory Act 1 was. But again, overall, Sonic Superstars is just a very, very good Sonic game, and even though I'm not as like, like, oh my god, this is the greatest thing since sliced bread thing like going right now, this is still a really great time and I am overall pleased with the final product. That being said, however, there is one major blemish to Sonic Superstars that absolutely needs to be addressed, and it is the boss fights. Jesus Christ, why did they go so hard with the boss fights in this game? Okay, so listen, historically in Sonic games, boss fights have been a complete joke. And that has been a major complaint amongst Sonic fans over the years, that boss fights are just such an afterthought and the more of just a means to an end to finish out each level. But, you know, people have wanted better boss fights in Sonic games, as have I. I feel like the boss fights over the years have been a waste of time and I would rather that they just not be there because all they do is just keep you from enjoying the meat of the game, which is the, st the, the stages themselves. Now, Sonic Superstars took that and ran with it. Sonic Superstars said, fuck that, our boss fights are going to be amazing, they're going to be epic, and we're finally going to be able to correct that long-standing issue with Sonic games over the last 20 to 30 years. Here's the thing, dude. You way overdid it with these bosses. Like, it feels like every single act or every other act has this big, epic, world-ending boss that requires six or seven different hits to, to, to beat, and they're way over, they have like three or four or five different attacks. Over half of them take like, it feels like 10 or 15 minutes to beat. Like, 
every single boss just feels like it thinks of itself as the final boss. Like, oh my god, this is the craziest, most epic battle you've ever experienced. Look at this boss. Look at it! Look at it! Look at it! Look at it! I want all of you to look at it! Like, holy crap, you got this pterodactyl who can launch things at you and you can only hit him once at a time and you have to wait for him for another four minutes to to deal out all of his attacks before you can hit him again and then it's like with over half these bosses it's like even when you beat them not only do they have a, a single phase but they have a second phase where they're even more powerful and have even more attacks that you have to deal with so like here is a major example of the problem with the bosses in this game i'm going into specifics here so there this is i guess you could technically say a spoiler so like if you don't want me to spoil one of the final bosses in the game then uh i mean like you know skip ahead to this time code i guess i don't know so you've beaten egg fortress and now you come to presumably what is the final boss in the game with, you have Eggman and he has this giant robot thing that we've, you know, kind of reminiscent of Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. And this motherfucker just takes his sweet ass time attacking you and it's so dull. Basically what he will do is he will launch these rockets at you and you have to run around to the back of him and wait for him to launch. That, that's the thing, you have to wait for him to launch the rockets again then you have to launch you have to smack the blue rocket back at him and you have to do this i'm not even joking you you have to do this you have to do this six times and in between him launching these rockets at you he will perform other attacks on you where all you can do is just try to dodge the attack it doesn't give you any other opportunity to deal damage to this guy until he starts launching the rockets so essentially what he's doing is he's forcing you to essentially just watch as he attacks you with these big grandiose attacks that are epic and yada 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 and then you're not even allowed to do damage it's forcing you to sit there and deal with this 10 minute boss and then not only that after you've dealt damage to him six different times nope nope it doesn't end there they really felt like they had to add a second phase to this motherfucker then he starts chasing you and you have to deal damage to him another six times and deal with him cycling through his attacks another six times. And by the time you've beaten this dude, 20 minutes will have passed. 20 fucking minutes. Like, it, it's crazy. It's so overly self-indulgent with these bosses. Like, it almost feels like the developers spent more time on the bosses than they did the stages at times. That's what it feels like. I, like, the last thing that I want to be doing in a Sonic game is spending 15 minutes in, you know, oftentimes a stationary position, standing around waiting for a boss to attack me. And seriously, like, if you watch the animations of these bosses and you look closely, these bosses will take their sweet-ass time w to attack you. Like, oh my god, like, what they'll do is you'll hit them, and then, you know, they'll do a little anima animation where they get pissed at you, and then they stand there and they do this whole, like, oh, look at me, I'm setting up my next attack, get ready. And they do that for, like, 20 seconds, and it's like, dude, just hurry up and attack me. Like, Jesus Christ, every single boss in this game thinks that it's like the greatest most like dark souls level boss ever and it's like my god it doesn't really drag down the pacing of this game like i know that we needed better boss fights in sonic games but we did not need them to go this hard sonic games are all about the stages that's the meat of the game the stages where you can gain momentum and enjoy the adrenaline rush of going as fast as you can and blowing through a stage as fast as you can and the boss fights just completely drag everything down. I cringe and I roll my eyes every t at the end of every stage because I'm like, okay, here we go. Now I gotta fight another 10 minute long boss who thinks it's the shit and thinks it's the most amazing boss ever and thinks it's Dark Souls. Like, dude, like these bosses completely drag down the pacing of the game is what it is. It's jarring. They drag down the pacing of the game and by the time you've reached the next stage, you're like, thank god I'm done with that previous boss, but now it's like, it almost makes you less inclined to play the game further, because these bosses are just such a drag. If I had to guess as to why every boss in this game is so overly self-indulgent, it would probably be because they realized that since this is a multiplayer-focused game, they felt like they had to beef up their bosses. 
because if you're going to be having four different people playing, running around on screen, four more opportunities to deal damage to a boss, they felt like they had to beef up each boss. But man, was that really at the detriment of people like me who prefer to play games like this single player. From my perspective, every single boss in this game is an absolute drag, and it was not worth them beefing up every boss for the sake of the multiplayer people at the detriment of single player. It is ridiculous. They did not need to give bosses this much airtime is all I'm saying. Oh man. You know that, that that felt good. It felt good to let out all that anger and frustration. But yeah that's the biggest problem I have with Sonic Superstars. I basically just lost my mind there for a few minutes just ranting on this because it's so awful and I just don't understand it. But aside from that Sonic Superstars is still awesome. You can't tell me otherwise. Um, but yeah, like, feel free to like crap on me in the comments. I want you to enjoy that. I want you to enjoy the passionate opinions that you have on Sonic, because we're all passionate here. We all have opinions on things. That's just what being a Sonic fan is, dude. So, I'm ready for it. Yeah, enjoy it. I'm outie. <laughs>